thank you so much for clicking on this video and for choosing me to spend this time with. This is my channel, Once Upon a Nursery, and I am Tamara, head Fruit Loop, top dog, and your host as always. And welcome to Mini Doll Monday, and happy Monday to you guys. I hope you are having a great day so far. And as you can see, I have my newest baby in the nursery that was a gift, such an amazing, incredible, remarkable gift from Dax at Encrypted Angels Nursery. And this baby was created by Amanda Schwartzman at Wawa's Angels Nursery on Reborns.com. And I will have a link to both of their uh, Amanda's Reborns page, her Instagram, and then Dax's um, Instagram and YouTube channel as well. So we are going to be going over some of the details of this baby and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Amanda and how amazing she is and we will be doing a name reveal for her and of course I ask as always that you please do not post her name in the comments. Very much appreciate it I'd like for everybody to find out on the videos. So we'll be doing name reveals for her lovies as well and both of these lovies were sent by Amanda if you have not seen her box opening I invite you guys to go check that out it was awesome it was a first for me so anyways I wanted to show you what I put on her I thought this was going to fit her much better but it was the choice between this and one other sleeper that I have so I only had two sleepers left in the box. It was this one and the other one I'm about to show you. So I put this one on her because I wanted to see her in pink. So all the other sleepers are occupied. So let me show you what she's wearing. I put this white bow in her hair. I do believe I got that from Pat Pat, I believe. And then of course there's her gorgeous emerald green eyes. And her little sleeper that says baby shower with a swan on it. And it's got the side ties. And then she's got some little pink socks with little hearts. And they look like little Mary Janes or something like that, you know. So that's what she's wearing. Let me show you what I'm going to put on her. And then I will show you some details. Um, I'm going to be putting these little socks on her that are super light pink and white. With a little flower there and then I have and those were bought at Ross and then I have this child of mine Carter's newborn onesie from Cheryl at Kylayla's precious ones and it's got a leopard and an alligator and a turtle the turtle is riding the alligator and then we got like a a group of little spots right there and then there's some flowers all over and oh there's an elephant let's show you the back print you can see the print better on the back so yes there is an elephant yeah and then over top i'm going to put this sleeper and it's also a newborn just one you by carter's and it's like a mint green, probably doesn't come off on the camera correctly, but it's a mint green with silver glitter dots all over. And then on her head, I'm going to put this sort of minty green colored bow. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get her out of these clothes and let's look at her details. <clears throat> I was very excited when I did her box opening and there was a lot of other things I wanted to say about Amanda and how amazing she is, but I completely lost my head <laughs> and I was completely swept away. And so, yes. So Amanda uh, started painting in April of this year. So she is a very, very new artist. She has uh, a love of dolls, of course, and she has her own collection. 
And so, yeah, she started painting dolls, and this is the result of that. Her little finger stuck in there. There we go. But I, I didn't realize that she was such a new artist, and I was shocked at how amazing her babies are. I thought she was like a seasoned professional from years and years ago. You know what I mean? Not like a brand new artist that just started a few months ago. Like, what? What? Wow. <laughs> wow, you guys. So, Amanda has very, very budget-friendly babies. Um, and she does not plan on ever raising her prices. Of course... Things, the prices of things increase, like the shipping prices increase occasionally and the prices for like the paints or the brushes or something may increase. And of course she would have to adjust for that. But as far as uh, adjusting the price to her, um, how do you want to say, for her length of time as being an artist, you know, because she's only going to get better. She does not plan on ever increasing her prices, you know, so that is truly amazing. She does not charge extra for box openings. Um, she does not charge extra for customs. Um, I want to put this diaper back on her, but I'm going to take it off for the moment so we can look at her. There she is. All right. So let's start with this beautiful hair. So she has like a dark brown painted hair. I'll show you all the little details of that. Amanda did it perfect, exactly as I had described to her. It's exactly, the hair is exactly the way I wanted it. I love it. And then of course, her little face. And so I got to choose the eye color as well, because this, this is a Madison Awake from Bountiful Baby. And uh, she didn't have a Madison kit in stock, so she had to order one. And so since she was going to be making her for me, I got a custom baby. <laughs> so I told her I wanted her to have green eyes, but not something unnatural, but something very natural looking and everything. Here you can see her little lips, how beautiful they are. And then I'll show you her nails, how beautiful those are. And then she's got, you probably can't see her veining too well on camera. But she has a little vein right here. And there's some veining down here. Let's see if I can get it to... Ah! Uh, you can see. You can kind of see here. And then her legs. Let me show you this leg. There's some more veining on her legs. And there's her little feet. Let me show you her the bottom of her foot. And the bottom of that foot. They look like real baby feet. They really, really, really do. They look like real baby feet. Let me show you the insides of her legs if you can see the veining i'm going to do some photos of her to show all her details like this i may not do it today they may not be in the pictures i post on instagram today but um they will be soon so let me show you the inside of this little arm here And her little fingernails. She is just beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love her so, so, so much. So much. Oh, just everything about her is just perfect. She's just perfect, perfect, perfect. So, <clears throat> Yes, like I said, this is the Real Born Madison Awake from Bountiful Baby. And I asked, well, I told Amanda that um, she couldn't make the baby too heavy. Because I know some people like lighter babies and they will 
sometimes ask to have, you know, a lighter baby or say that they don't want the baby heavy or something. And I told her, I said, you know, do what you do, do your thing, however you want to do it. But just keep in mind that you can't make this baby too heavy. Not for me. <laughs> so she is, she's pretty heavy. I was actually surprised, pleasantly, very pleasantly surprised at her weight. Oh, and I did do her eyelashes. That's something. Let me get her onesie on. I'll show you her eyes again. Because I did forget to mention that uh, I did put eyelashes on her myself. And I do have a tutorial video on how to do eyelashes. If I can remember to link them, I will. But if you have to go look for them, um, it was a four-part video series called Happy Mail Box Opening Tutorial. And the eyelash portion of the tutorial is at the end of part three and the beginning of part four. But I will try to remember to link those so you can learn how to do eyelashes. And of course, look up other videos and, you know, learn how to do it your way. This is, that's just my way of doing things. So I highly encourage you to seek out other videos and gain more knowledge in uh, your own way of doing it. You may see something that somebody else does that you like better than what I did, you know, so go for it. Absolutely. We all got to do things our own way, you know, you know. So hang on, let me show you her eyelashes. So yes, I did do her eyelashes. Just to be clear, Amanda didn't do them. She did everything else. <laughs> she did everything else. I just did the eyelashes. And these are uh, people eyelashes that I have trimmed down. Yeah, I love them. I love them. I love my babies to have eyelashes. So some people don't. Some people prefer them the way they are. But my personal preference is eyelashes. So that's what I did. <laughs> and I think they look super cute. I think she looks perfect. I love her. And Cheryl also has this baby. Cheryl at Kyla, those precious ones. Cheryl has this baby as a boy. So, and I didn't know that she had got a Madison awake from Amanda. And she didn't know that I got one. So we were very pleasantly to surprised to find out that our Amanda babies that we had coming were the same baby. <laughs> Oh, this vinyl, you guys. Oh my gosh. Amanda told me how she does the vinyl, but I don't remember exactly what she says. But oh my gosh, it's so smooth. I love it. One of the reasons why I was never fond of artist rendered babies was because the texture of their skin, I don't like it. It feels gross to me. It's like thick and like rough. And like my poor Carson back there, she's actually tacky. Like she's very sticky. Oh, I should have put her leg in here first. We're going to have to do you kind of funny here, baby. I'm glad this is a doll. <laughs> there we go. I got you, girl. Mom is abusing you. <laughs> but I want to show you her, um, her birth certificate that Amanda sent me. She does make her own. And I love them. I love them, love them, love them. La, 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 la. Okay. Snippity snap. We're almost to the end. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Now, where's her? You guys, I lost her thing. Oh, here it is. I knocked it in the floor. All right. Let me put her little headband on her. And uh, there, she's ready. So let me give you her details. As I have said, she's a real born Madison Awake. She was born 10 15 23 at 7 02 p.m. She weighs four pounds and 8.4 ounces. She is 19 inches long. Her artist was Amanda Schwartzman. And the nursery name is Wawa's Angels Nursery on Reborns.com. 
So there's her information. And if you would like to have Amanda paint you a baby, you can just click, click the link in my description and send her a message and have a nice little chit chat with a wonderfully amazing person. Amanda is amazing. She really is. I have not only gained a friendship with her, but I have, I claim her as family now because she's just so, so amazing. Just, you know, you, you wonder, I mean, I wonder sometimes about the artists who paint some of these dolls, like what kind of a person are they? You know, are they a good person? Are they a nice person? You know, you never know. You never know. But I can honestly tell you that Amanda is an incredibly amazing person. She really, really is. And I am loving getting to know her better. And I love that she's in my life. I just think she's amazing. And I love Dax for getting me this baby. She was such a huge surprise. Um, Dax and I were talking one day and he said, uh, you know, oh, which, which Amanda babies do you do you like? I'm curious. I like to see what other people's tastes are in, in babies. So I sent about four or five screenshots of Amanda babies that I loved. And then he says something about that he's got something cooking, but will tell me later. And I say, well, uh, just uh, let it cook for as long as it, you, you want. However long it takes till it's done, just call me when dinner's ready. <laughs> I was joking, of course, you know. I, I didn't know exactly what was meant. And then a couple of days later, uh, I get a message from Dax. And he's like, dinner's ready. <laughs> I was like, okay, what's going on? So, um, yeah, he said, go to Amanda's Reborns page and pick out whatever baby you want because I'm buying it for you. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, this was the little nugget that I chose. And Amanda did amazing, amazing. These two people, Amanda and Dax, are absolutely incredible people. And I just encourage everyone to take the time to get to know them because they, they really, really are incredible. Incredible people. But it is time to do a name reveal now. We are going to start with these lovies, of course, like we always do. So I have decided to call this bunny that Amanda said. This is going to be Tutter. Um, the, <laughs> it's the name of the mouse on Bear in the Big Blue House. Somebody sent a little video in our group chat the other day, yesterday as a matter of fact, that had um, Tutter in it. And I was like, oh yeah, Tutter, that's a cute name. So I decided to name the bunny Tutter after the mouse on Bear in the Big Blue House. And then this bear that says, love you, mom, love it. I have decided to call this bear Schwartz. Yes, Schwartz. So this is Schwartz. Gorgeous. It's like a, it's like a really light, like lilac color, like a purpley. It's beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. And now it's time to find out her name. So yes, please, please, please don't post it in the comments. Please don't. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I have decided to call her JC Emerson. What you guys think? You like JC? <laughs> oh, I love her. Oh, and I couldn't wait to get her. I was so excited and it, like when Amanda shipped her, it only took like two days for her to come to me. So that was amazing. Well, counting Sunday, but you know, I mean, three days, but Sunday doesn't count. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today to do the name reveal and clothing change of my newest little angel from Amanda Schwartzman at Wawa's Angels Nursery on Reborns.com. And this amazing gift from Dax at Encrypted Angels Nursery. So we love you, Uncle Dax. And we love you, Aunt Amanda. Yes, we do. So I guess that's it. Please.
please consider hitting that like and subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time i upload a video comments and sharing are always welcome and of course i'd invite you to do my tags over on instagram uh and i would love to see photos or where you can see photos of my babies as well and did i say she's on for mini doll monday because i don't think i said mini doll monday today's mini doll monday <laughs> And she is a mini doll because she's only 19 inches. She's right at the top. She's right at the top of the cutoff, huh? Yeah, right at the top of the cutoff line. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, well, I guess we will see you next week unless something else pops up for me. You never know around here what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, guys, we love you so much, and we'll see you Friday for sure. Bye, guys. Bye.